To answer the question of why I'm walking on a college football team at 20 years old, I need to take you back to the beginning. So, come with me. Like most American kids, I grew up playing soccer. I loved all the positions, but my favorite ended up being goalie. This is also where I first learned how to punt. Ow! Ow! That's a med ball, but you know, you get the point. After working up to the club level of soccer, I quit to participate in my middle school sports because they're much more fun. I played volleyball, basketball, and flag football. During my middle school days of playing the fun sports, I focused less on even those sports and more on the really fun sports, like skateboarding and BMXing. I honestly loved skateboarding and BMXing. These were probably the most fun times of my life. Until... It happened. In sixth grade, on a freak trampoline accident, I tore my ACL. To this day, I can still remember that distinctive you can't seem to, uh, that echo through the building. With the tearing of my ACL, came pretty much the end of my athletic career as I knew it. I stopped playing sports for about a year, and even when I came back, I had to wear a big bulky knee brace. Actually, here is the knee brace. Why I chose to make the knee brace green, I have no idea. But to be fair, that was the same kid who during sixth grade also wrote Quinn was here on his own wall. So clearly at the time I was not I was not thinking. During this time, I really let my body go and got addicted to the video games. The only positive I can really think about that came out of this time is that I learned how to edit. By now I was in eighth grade and I was back to playing sports. I was just wearing a knee brace. And though I was back, I was wildly unathletic. To put in perspective, I played flag football. Keep in mind, flag football. And they made me a lineman. And they gave me number 13. I mean, come on. During eighth grade, everyone was talking about what position they were gonna play in high school. And I thought I'd be, you know, a linebacker or something cool like that. But when I suggested that to all my friends, they made fun of me and said, hey, you know, you could be a punter. Initially, this made me pretty mad. And then I thought about it, and I looked back on my, you know, soccer training from the days at goal, and I said, you know, I'm not very athletic, so maybe punting will be fruitful for me. So I took it pretty seriously. I took it so seriously, in fact, that I went on Amazon and bought a book. How to punt, football, punting, and kicking. And went to this field every day in eighth grade, rode my bike here, and would just kick by myself, and just read the book, read the book, as you can tell, this book is incredibly tattered because I just ripped through it. And every day I'd get a little better at kicking and a little better at kicking. And then freshman year came and I made the football team and actually was pretty good at punting. So the book paid its dividends. Then I played my freshman year, my sophomore year, and then I had ACL surgery. After ACL surgery, I came back and was punting pretty well, but unfortunately broke my wrist the first game, first, the first scrimmage of my junior year. Then came senior year, and everything worked out. I punted well, we had a really good year, we ended up going to state for the first time in school history. So I had a good senior year and was gonna play in college, and I chose Humboldt State, because I wanted to stay in California, I wanted to be on the ocean. It was D2, so it was a good level I could play at. And I took, you know, getting ready for the season very seriously. I'd kick, punt every day, and lift, and until I was doing it so much that I developed really bad tendonitis in my knee. Now initially this tendonitis wasn't very bad, and if I rested it, it would have been fine. But I have a weird complex, weird ego complex, and it turned into my downfall because I kept pushing through the injury until the point when I couldn't even walk, I couldn't sleep without it killing me, and then effectively my football career was over. There was really a point in time when I thought I'd never, I would never even run again, let alone play football. So then when I came to Humboldt, uh, I was kind of in a bad place, but I wanted to help out the team still. So I asked one of the coach that they needed help, and they needed help with their video production. And luckily for me, going back to my gaming days, I knew how to edit videos. So I started filming the videos for the team, and it turned out pretty fruitful. I got hired on as a coach, and that worked out really well. And now, after two years, my knee's finally good. My desire to play football and my ability is still there. That's why I'm walking on at 20 years old. Because... It's like I'm not